Sorry. Hello, everybody. Welcome to game number one of Peppered Biscuits. Um, this is Halflings. Thanks to uh, thanks to Peppered Biscuit who donated. Oh, hey, Wanger. Fuck off, help. <laughs> who donated over a th one thousand one hundred and ten thousand? Go fuck yourself. Bit, which is just unbelievable, isn't it? So thank you so much to Pepper Biscuit, and this is um, his team, I guess. Uh, and I guess we go for the Star of the Slayer. That seems re quite reasonable, doesn't it? Um, I know that that's Stor's favourite, and Stor knows how to play flings. I mean, knows how to play everything, but he's incredible with flings. And in the booth with me is Purple Chest. Hello, Purple Chest. Hello, hello. Um, I hate flings. I'm looking forward to seeing you humbled and destroyed. <laughs> yeah. So but then it is—you have rolled into uh, underwhelm, haven't you? Yeah. Which, with Zara, I think makes this a very tastily even little match. Let's hope so. Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl. <laughs> uh, fair enough, all done. But I don't know. Uh, there's times where I really don't want to play, and uh, and then if I've you know if I've scheduled a game for a league game, then I just. Purple just turned into the Iron Sheik. <laughs> no chef. Oh yeah, how much is the chef? It's like a hundred, isn't it, or something? Hundred and fifty. Oh no, I think it's yeah, I think it's a hundred. Hmm. Do I just receive? I don't know what to do. Yeah, a hundred for flings. Mm. I've got no idea what to do. <laughs> I guess I should have kicked or I'd have had the one turn. Purple Chest does indeed stream, yeah. He streams and he, ha he does the Fumble podcast. I do, there's a new Fumble podcast. Uh, let me just see if I can pull up a link for that. Which we, uh, we did just the other day. We had a, a not very interesting guest, but he was there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we had the glorious Jimmy Fantastic <laughs> in with us for a, a, a football podcast, which was nice. Yep. Yeah, it was nice. There you go, there's PCs, John. If you want and to yes, I do them. stream, though I haven't done for a little while. <laughs> uh, but I do plan to today, whether it's this afternoon or this evening, I haven't quite decided, but I sure will be doing some, uh, some streaming. Upmarket Billardi. <laughs> All right, still. So Thank I'll you, Pedro him. Jack. I'll, I'll take that. I like Billardi. I often get referred to uh, to Jeremy Clarkson, which I find quite insulting. Yeah, I would find that insulting too. <laughs> Someone once even likened my voice to Nigel Farage. We are mm -hmm. no longer on speaking terms. <laughs> <laughs> no time, dear fellow. Does Zara carry? Makes sense, doesn't it? Bang on men's carry can. on Zara. Uh, yours, yep. what Store says. Or she punches holes, but uh, on a brand new fling team, when you haven't got a better fling that you want skilled or that you want to carry, then she carries. <laughs> no, no. I was just out. Uh, you know, I was just like on the panel, basically. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't a gym focused stream. Uh, not stream. What's it called? Uh, episode. Oh yeah, you can just come around and hit me, can't you? Yeah, we, we, we wouldn't sort of have you on as a let's interview Jimmy. It was a no. Let's yeah. let him come on and just be one of us and chat with us. That would be yeah. a nice change. So we did. Yeah, it was nice. We've had several people requesting that they come and get to do a spot too. The mm -hmm. jealousy um, fires in the Blood Bowl community, I feel. <laughs> no, I don't want to get one of these such No, absolutely don't. So yes, putting it on Zara does make an enormous chunk of sense. I haven't. This has gone great, I say. <laughs> a 
I see you forming a lovely Venga bus style cage there, Jim. Fuck me. You're well aware that Santis just don't give a shit about things like that, aren't you? <laughs> what a fucking LOS block. Yeah. Hey! Into self removal. <laughs> Dimmy G has the gall to call himself the most diced man in Blood Bowl. Fuck me. Three dice push, three dice push, two dice push. Double skulls cast. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> it badly hurts, so it's okay. <laughs> like I said, you need to think of flings as almost entirely disposable, Jim, until you get one or two that you perhaps you know keep a little bit safer. If you get a plus agility one, obviously that needs looking after, or a dirty player or block one. Yeah. Uh, knowing you, you'd take dirty player first, but block on a second double, maybe. Yeah, boy. That is true, I mean, Pepper Biscuit, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's one of the great things about flings, is you can just afford to not give a shit about them. Yeah. Oh, wow, Pepper Biscuit has gone past the tiers of bits that I created. <laughs> Have to get a new badge for him. Yeah, yeah, he needs a new badge. Fucking hell. <laughs> Oh, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Was it even worth activating trees to uh, hit goblins? Certainly, I think. I mean, the store will give you a better answer. If you want to be good at fleeing, you shouldn't be one man down before the opponent did anything. Yeah, he's got one there. Perhaps let the opponent remove the flings rather than do it yourself. Yeah. Good strat there, store. That's some big brain thinking. <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. I mean, I, I obviously, you know, Store will come on and say, "Don't listen to Purple Chess; he's an idiot," and do the exact opposite. But it's my belief that if there are turns you can uh, not activate the trees, that's probably not a bad thing. But obviously, they're also your, you know, your principal damage dealers and positional takers. So tricky. Gets a lot easier in Blood Bowl 2020 or Blood Bowl 3. Because today. Blood is huge. And so was my huge. cock. Yep. Which, for any that don't know, just means that uh, if a tree is down, uh, any fling standing next to it gives it plus one to stand up. So if you put three flings next to your tree, it stands up. No. Oh, well done, Zara. Zara's the best. Fouah. Yes, and blocking their way forwards, the trees. If there's any block in front of you, yeah. That, that, that feels like very good advice, Papa Piccolo. So maybe I don't block here, because it's only three dice and we've got ball. And he's making a screen with the other one. Store told me that. <laughs> um, maybe he goes in here, actually. Uh, the old, the old uh, kind of point. I know it's kind of pointless, the uh, thing, but still. It's not pointless. I mean, it does mean he has to dodge one in to cancel, and then another in to have a go at it. And he needs to cancel the one at the far end and things as well. So it, it does add to the difficulty. It's just never impossible. Yeah. It's one of the reasons that, that flings have the edge in a matchup versus goblins is um, the flings are cheaper, the trees are better, and, uh, and both are able to just dive into each other's cages continuously. Mm. And also weapons aren't a lot of use against flings. You're not going to chainsaw a tree in half. Yeah, El Elliot's been not using uh, not using weapons at all. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think that's fine. Yeah, interesting. He, I thought he was using a chainsaw, uh, but not anything else. 
that was only because chat made him. He, he wasn't using a chainsaw before. Right. Yeah. <laughs> chat made him. But, like, he, he did go without the chainsaw as well. And he played somebody, and then, like, he's like, I don't know if people are like, oh, look, chainsaw would have won this. And he's like, I don't think it would have done anything. And they're like, chainsaw would have won. And then he got a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, he was on occasion, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I quite like running goblins with the ball and chain and the chainsaw. Um, I don't tend to take the bomber. And then I rent the bomber as a star because the rented bomber is so much better than the rostered bomber. Yeah, that's and fair. not very expensive. Yeah. Probably going to 2D this treason. But then I'm a firm believer there is okay. nothing in Blood Bowl more fun than taking a chainsaw to a war dancer's face. <laughs> it's already blitzed. Yeah, exactly, Moradam. Yes, Team and Taylor, but the Nuffles Alter, I don't know if you've heard, um, has been banned. It's been ban hammered by the admins because, you know, obviously some of the stunty teams were really dominating the chalice. <laughs> um, you know, Underwell, Goblins and Flings getting into the final four every round was just getting boring to people. <laughs> so they've uh, they've ruled the Nuffle, in fact, all stadium enhancements non applicable. Yeah. The CCL and Chalice environments. Is this all right? I don't know. Actually, I don't think it was the stunties, was it, Store? I think if we're going to tell the truth of that situation here, it was things like dwarves hiring the Nuffles altar, and then there's two stars the dwarves can get for 10k each, uh, which is a little silly. <laughs> Oh, Dante, I think that's um, unlikely to be true, but it's genuinely quite funny. <laughs> Dribble Snot a bomber. Um, Dribble Snot comes with skills and just better things. Um, I'll be much more specific if you give me just two secs. I mean, I, I think I know, but I want to look it up so I don't make any mistakes for you. Yeah, that's right. It's accurate, isn't it? So, uh, the normal bomber is awful. Um, move 6, strength 2, agility 3, uh, armor 7. Only comes with dodge. Uh, and can't be thrown. He's not even right stuff. It comes with a secret weapon, obviously, and is a stunty. Whereas, uh, the big advantage of bomber is he's only 60k to rent. He does come with right stuff, so you can even throw him. And he comes with accurate. Uh, which just gives that plus one to every bomb you throw. Which for 20k more than the rostered bomber, and then the added advantage of not having a bomber on your roster at the end of the game, is absolutely priceless. <laughs> because against things like elves, a bomber is a complete liability. Yeah. They, they just deactivated quality grips, so they just, they just literally don't work. You can still buy them, so you can just waste them, just won't, yeah, won't show up in the game. Yeah, that, that to me is the... I mean, there's two reasons why I wouldn't have banned them. Not because I think they're good at all. <laughs> like, or a good idea or anything. But, um, you know, they, they'd existed for like 30-odd seasons. So I think you shouldn't just change it because it's, you know, random. And then second of all, you can still buy the enhancement in the game. So, like, the UI lets you buy them and doesn't tell you that they're not going to be able to be used. So, you know, unless you're on the Discord and everything, knowing that they can't be used... You know, plenty, loads of people are going to buy them, and then like, why isn't it working? And not no one just waste a hundred k. I'm totally on both sides of this one, Jim. I mean, I I see why they were banned. They're not in the sort of official rules of Blood Bowl, um, but neither are many of the uh, countless things that Cyanide have coded into the game <laughs> that shouldn't be there. Yeah. Um, and as you said, it had continuity. It, it was what people expected. It's what they knew. Yeah. And I think you can count on the. You know, count on the toes on one of Jim's foot the number of people that read the rules for the CCL every single season <laughs> yeah um, so changing them you know, unless you then go sort of everywhere possible and there isn't really a central point for Blood Bowl 2 players and say look the rules have changed um, there were a couple of seasons where people just genuinely didn't know and that's awful oh, this is a bit of a bit of a fuck up here isn't it I 
might want to hand off to Zara here. I don't have the players to do anything, do I? And one of the big issues, of course, was that um, when you reach the chalice, the team that's first always gets home status. So um, when the chalice was drawn, if you were in the you know the very top slot, then if you won every game, you'd be at home in every game, and your you know, your stadium would count every game. If you were in the very bottom slot on the draw, you would even if you win every game, you'd be away every game, and hence your your stadium would never count. But again, that's just that's the luck of the draw. I mean, if you know going in that's going to happen, then you can't really complain if it happens because that was a known fact. I mean, it's a different competition as well, so they could have just allowed yeah. enhancements throughout the season and yep. then tell the 32 or 64 people that it doesn't count for the playoffs. So, you know. Yeah, I mean, you don't need to turn it off if there isn't that functionality. I mean, just like you're not allowed to spend more than 40k. I mean, you physically can. It's just if you do, the admins report to you in the chalice and you have to either replay the game or you're forfeited. Because the financial fair play rules say you can only scum an extra 40k if you're the underdog in chalice. But that can't be coded into the client at this point. So it's just a, an informal rule that is enforced through admin action. And yep. your way of saying with the same with stadiums, you know, use them during the run but not in the chalice, would be just as doable. Yep. Um, but we're not admins, Jim. We're just voices in the wilderness. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Store. I'll, I'll try not to. <laughs> the thing is, though, J5, that's not like the format of it, is it? Um, the, the, the problem is they created this qualifying oh wow this could be a win <laughs> they, they it should be yeah they created this qualifying uh, like you know the qualifying system is the idea of with it you know have it been the diversity cup oh shit he's back boo um So yeah, they kind of made it like this diversity cup thing, which means that you don't really want to, uh, you know, it's hard, you can't really see it. This is why I didn't want to hand it off to, to Zara yeah. before, by the way. Yeah, because it's a one in three chance of being horrible. Yeah. I think you have to pump the reroll in the hope. Pump it in. And it works. Glorious. Yes, I noticed there's a new Blitz Pit announcement. Good day, Nick. Not a chance to have a read of it. Ugh. Yuck. Oh, has there been a new Blitz Pit announcement? And, and I, Ducky announced that he had got the invite for it. Glorious. Let's have a look. Announcements. Blitz Pit 10, 5th and 6th of June. $350 worth of prize money. May the 8th and May the 22nd. Glorious. Do I just have to write hello? <laughs> I've written hello, that'll do. <laughs> Yak's already in, I love Yak's. I love Yak's new Discord picture. <laughs> like, I mean, it's the one that I made, but still. It's still good that he's used it in Discord. Blitz Pit 10, fuck Big Ben. <laughs> Glorious. Oh, thanks, Gadernik. <laughs> Lovely bit of favouritism. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ducky is the king foul. So, yeah, I didn't need to protect the ball there. That was good, wasn't it? And yeah, it's flings, it's flings, thanks to Pepper Biscuit. <laughs> As you can see, is the new top donator in one day. Unbelievable. What a glorious day. Thank you so much.
So yeah, this is uh, like I like putting these guys here to protect the tree from the troll. So he's just had to activate the troll and not block them, hasn't he? I thought I thought he'd been stupid. Looks like he hasn't activated him. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he very kindly finished the cage. Yeah. I mean, Zara hardly needs a cage, right? Strength four bludge. That's the beauty of Zara. Oh, fuck off. You complete fucking dickhead. Yep. So, you know, as PC correctly says, it's just impossible to hurt trees. So... Yeah. <laughs> trees never I mean, get hurt. Let's try and say impossible, Jim. Um... <laughs> I knew I needed an apple. I fucking knew I needed an apple. I know normal people don't, but I knew yeah, I normal did. Normal people wouldn't, um, for all the reasons I outlined. But yes, perhaps you did. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Hashtag win anyway. Yeah, hopefully. Oh god. I quite like. I want to move him out of the way, so. I don't think you can have your lone tree rooted at this point in life. I was going to say well done, Calcium, then I realised you were the elves. <laughs> Completely out of character, Calcium with elves. If I go away there, that's alright, isn't it? Maybe. Well, Calcium, both you and Jim should think of yourselves as unlucky because, of course, to injure AV 10, it is a 1 in 12 to even break the armor, let alone before you roll the injury roll. Yep. Keep the keep the troll out of the way, I guess. Without a reroll, I think that might be better. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta use your inbuilt rerolls, haven't you? Yeah. I could even stop maybe stop as well after the tag. Particularly as you pop dodge, that might be more tempting now to stop. Yeah. Bring the other one up instead. Ropey, isn't it? It's a bit ropey. <laughs> well, it's a bit relying on Zara to potato, and she can. That's an ability she has. Yeah. A strength for bludgy evilness. The tree just got injured by a burnt peasant. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good making dodges, isn't it? Like, I, I despise having to make one in nine dodges. See you, Volk. <laughs> Volk just gets killed every time he's hit, apparently. Can <laughs> stop calling people that? That's yeah. just uh... <laughs> Yeah, Volk for Gore was hit once, died. 
<laughs> then I was like, well, I feel bad because he only got one game. <laughs> then he got hit once and died. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll be back in a bit, but I am just going to go and uh, check my kids. I've had some lunch. All right, cool. Uh, I fully expect to come back to the second half with you 1-0. Yeah, hopefully. I'm crowing about how easy flings are. <laughs> See you, PC. Enjoy. Hey. Why I just went in the wrong square, right? No big whoop. The troll doesn't really need to be tagged anymore. PC expecting a second half. <laughs> no, there'll be a second half. Don't worry. There could even be a face cam. Imagine that. Stalls, he's the coach. No, oh, it's not working. Oh, fuck me, I'm big, aren't I? There you go, hello. <laughs> Might as well. This is this is big, isn't it? I don't I don't like how big I am. Scarily, scarily large face. Make myself a little bit small. No one needs to see this. <laughs> No one needs to see this face. <laughs> Too big. Space cam. No, not for this. It's Among Us only, isn't it? The space cam. Huge. So he's not even basing with a troll now. I can't leave him a two turn, can I? I've got to like, I've got to stall so that his only option is the one turn. Good. I really don't have to dodge with Sarah. Don't dodge with Sarah. I could block and then dodge these away. Nice. Get fucked. <laughs> right, then he could blitz and come back. And then he can 2D and then he can do the dodge. Yuck. That is a disappointing push. 
La vague du drapeau n'atteint pas la planche colombe, ni le porteur du ballon. Good. Very good. Might as well just keep him based. Oh, but he's got blood. Oh, the block doesn't like so I've got it in blood anyway. There's a cheeky pow. Love to see it. Get a good stun. I can't believe he uphill Kaz the fucking tree. <laughs> That's insane, isn't it? Like, did totally the right thing. Put the tree on the on the troll with a guy there and a guy there, so he couldn't he couldn't even get a one D on it. And then he uphills him. And Kaz's him. Just badly hurt. Just badly hurt, to be fair. Totally outplayed, yeah. <laughs> can't, can't, can't argue with that, can you? Yeah, I think everyone's just badly hurt. The good thing is, losing six players in a half is, is totally fine, because it's halflings, isn't it? Don't even feel bad. I mean, do feel a bit bad about the tree, obviously. But all the others, it's like, you know, it's halflings, and what do you expect? So they're quite good in that in that salt kind of aspect. Both down on all balls. No balls. Sarah's really good, cool, isn't she? <laughs> Well, Agrelius, saying all you lose is three bench, I'm, I need all three bench right now. And this is what store recommends. And store is better than me. So, <laughs> I went with what he thought. <laughs> Even though he said no apple. Even though he said no apple. And then obviously I get my fucking tree cast on the pill. <laughs> so yeah, all you lose is three bench, but I need all my bench, don't I? So. He could foul the tree, so I guess I don't want the tree on the other way. about right isn't it? I don't know what the exact best square is. Maybe a better one square. I, I wish I knew. KFOG can probably work it out which 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 line is the best to stand your guys on and whether to stagger it, you know, could maybe do that or something. I'm not sure. When I say I'm not sure, I've got no idea. <laughs> I've got no idea. A bit of Among Us later. Yeah, probably, Flicky, probably. It's very sunny today. But, uh, locked indoors, commentating on games and watching them. When's Elliot, when's Elliot versus Ducky? Has as KFOG filled it in for us? N'es-tu pas nostalgique de la FAE, Bob? Pas des masses, Jim. À l'époque, il y avait beaucoup plus de temps. Pas moyen de se jeter dans la foule pour semer la zone. Fallait demander la permission de la boule. Ah, ces joueurs savent pas leur chance. I don't think Elliot's written in when it is in there. Do people know when it's on? Is on today. Yeah, there was a second tree, but it got uphill, uphill blocked by a troll <laughs> into Kaz. 
classic. Classic gym dice. Oh wow, amazing cards. <laughs> So yeah, they're not great with only one tree, aren't they? But I guess it means if these come back, I need two back, don't I? I think three, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, I need two back at the moment. <laughs> it's the sage build. <laughs> And he failed the throw. Good. So, maybe won't lose this game? It's definitely wrong, Kill. It's definitely wrong to only have one tree. Not making it a 3D. SMH, my head. Goodbye, kill. <laughs> right, so I need all three back now to have a full team. Okay, two back, that's alright. This is rule of one, isn't it, with Zara? <laughs> it's just rule of one. There is one player that we care about on defense. Everyone else are garbage halflings. I've got no idea how to play defense. It's quite fun, isn't it, playing halflings? Having no idea what to do or how to do it. Love to see it. I don't know how to win 70% of the time. <laughs> I guess the chef would have helped, wouldn't it? Maybe I should have scummed the chef as well. But I already scummed a bit for Zara. Yeah, what not to do with Monty, <laughs> What not to do with... What not to do with Monty. Store is the guy to watch for flings, isn't it? Yeah, don't let him uphill that tree. Yeah, yeah Will Torres score. It's going okay. I mean, he's got Underworld, which is a bit rubbish, aren't he? But it's... Maybe I should have kicked, so I'd have 11 men on defense. Mm. In the one turn, maybe it's better to kick. I need to go and furiously watch all the stores, VODs. <laughs> Hey, another 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 dead tree maybe. No, he's out. Good. Fuck you, troll. <laughs> Glorious. 
quitter le match. Glorious. Oh, he took root. But hey, he stood up. That's something, isn't it? Whack him into the tree. The troll deserved it after his uphill, to be fair. <laughs> or tomorrow. Left for a bit. In case no one reported back, Elliot's chalice game is 1300 UTC tomorrow. Glorious. Thank you very much, Moradan. Wonderful. Ah, yes. Yeah, the Discord. Thank you. Thank you, Flicky. Um, Elliot has got an amazing dark elf team probably the best team left in the chalice um but he's up against ducky who is obviously a great player and has a really good vampire team so it's uh <laughs> sorry man it's true though isn't it it's true it's really good it's a really good team elliot's team and obviously elliot's a really good coach but you, it's hard to put him as favourite to win because he's up against Elio. Nah, he's up against Ducky with a really good team as well. Kadenik's got a got a really good Wood Elf team. So I put Kadenik's team up there. Disappointing route, isn't it? Yuck. Oh well, the blitzing him into the tree achieved nothing. Fling. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not terrible, is it? I guess I should have put the guy behind him so I could take them both down. Yeah. Alright, so this is alright, I guess. Left this side a bit weak, but got Zara that side, so that balances it out a bit. Oh yeah, Rick's team is amazing. Yeah, Rick's team is pretty amazing. That's true. It's not that good, but it's all right. It's it's it's. It's, it's pretty good. I don't know how good Crucifer's team is, or the Nurgle's Fighting's team is. But, um... Like, it's, it's scary rather than good, isn't it? I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't really want to play Rick's team, but I think I'd be more likely to lose <laughs> to Gadernix or, or, or Elliot's. 
Yeah, and it is a bit worse. Yeah. Yeah, essentially no trees, yeah. Yeah, trying to blitz him into it. But it's not good, is it? <laughs> How dare you. How dare you. I mean, he's not as good as Gadini. And he's not as good as Elgad. But he's, he's better than most people. I think that's fair. I don't think he'd argue with that. <laughs> I don't think Rick would argue with that. Cheeky pal, love to see it. <laughs> Keep up there. <laughs> Half link has. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got nine players now. Versus nine. All right. Ball three reversing the dice heights. <laughs> you and me, you and me both. Yeah, to be fair, the tree is pretty much out of it. But you know, he's still there, right? He's still holding the middle. And obviously, once he gets past the halfway line, then the tree is pretty much gone. And I guess that's pretty much what's happening now. It's nice that he's putting two players threatening some kind of switch, taking his guys out. Unfortunately, he's not crap, is he, this this fella? With any luck, he would have been crap and given us, like, an easy Zara dodging or something. The tree could throw a halfling, couldn't he? Bosh, let's go. Zara can hold that. Ça sent la bonne grosse en poignade. Il s'acharne sur ce pauvre joueur comme des halfling autour d'un sandwich. Let's go. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> oh. oh well. See you, man, kids. <laughs> I 
That was a bit unlucky, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> It was right as well to aim one next to where you wanted him to land, but uh, more chance of hitting somebody if you if you aim adjacent. But uh, you know there was four players you could have hit there. Decent chance of hitting these four or him even or him, but no, straight in the crowd. See you later. <laughs> well, in fact, don't see you later because you're fucking dead. <laughs> uh, at least I tried. That was looking kind of decent. Like, pretty, I didn't really mind wherever he landed. Apart from in the crowd. <laughs> like, I mean, if I am at this guy, then it's just more likely he hits one of my own guys, isn't it? Which is bad. Really running out of players now. You could roll a one here. No rerolls left. No problem. Uh, I mean, I, I killed him, and the, if the others are badly hurt. He got killed on an uphill block. I don't know if these died from... Uh, I don't know if these were Kaz would from Dodges or what. But, you know, he's got... A Kaz, a Halfling made a Kaz, which was beautiful. I don't know who it was who made a Kaz. Muppet. Muppet made a Kaz. Glorious. <laughs> yeah, Martin, yeah. <laughs> All right. And I could four four three two to get two D on the ball. Isn't à tout prendre, je préfère le jeu de passe au bourrin qui cavale. Eux et moi, nous n'avons pas les mêmes valeurs. Ah, moi, je vais bien cavaler. Tu sais où je te les mets, mes valeurs. Things are looking bad. I guess I'll just be the sensible. Be sensible. Le soutien suffira-t-il à prendre le dessus? Ce joueur a l'air plutôt fier d'être resté debout. Plus dur sera la chute. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, that's not bad, is it? He dodges there. No, he doesn't. Alright, well. He probably just gets away now, doesn't he? Shit. <laughs> Flings, yes, Lava. <laughs> many, many, many bits. <laughs> many, like, unbelievable from Peppered Biscuit, so thank you so much for the once again. Thank you so much. Certainly a thousand there. <laughs> okay, yes, let's dodge. Go for a second throw. Where's your other tree? Cast. Cast from uphill tree block. Tree can't move. He rooted. Instantly. Maybe I should have apple and uh, put it, maybe I should have re-rolled it. Just in the last instant of this match, it stops joyously on the Oh, I adore! Ugh. And you push him to here, can't he? And then get away from Zara. I can cheat. 
by stabbing. So there is that. There is the stab cheat to hit him when he thinks he's safe. <laughs> no, fl flings are terrible. <laughs> but they're good enough that you can still win with them if you if you play well and aren't disastrously unlucky. That is an interesting non-cage, isn't it? Woo! <laughs> yeah, there might be a play on the ball. Alright. Well, he can just stand up now. And I guess I just get tackle zones on the ball. The 5 plus pickup is probably not going to happen, is it? I should have gone for the 5 plus pickup. Had a reroll, couldn't I? Could have gone 4, 5, GFI, lob him. Yeah, still could. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, get lobbed. I don't like it though. Prefer trying to get someone back. Play it safe. Play like Elliot. What would Elliot do? And he 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 tends to go really safe, doesn't he? I remember his fling. Like you know, his fling runs were some of the first times I saw Elliot play, and he, he was doing like in the lots of times where I, I was thinking, you know, halflings are shit. He's got to go and do something now. And he was like still staying patient and still just like, you know, playing as safe as he could with halflings. And, uh, and it paid off a large amount of the time. When I would have gone for the pickup there, he, he would have not gone for the pickup and stuff. So maybe. But maybe I should have done because he's cleared all the tackle zones and he's got the ball back on there. On the, uh, thrower, hasn't he? So. Maybe I should have gone for the 5 plus pick up with the reroll. Oof, costly. I mean, he's going he's to get the ball on the throw, which sucks, doesn't it? I think I probably should have picked up. But this was the sort of situation, though, right? Where he's done that wrong, hasn't he? He can't push it in the right square now. Oh, he just gets a pal. Of course he does. Do the wrong thing. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Wonderful. Love to see it, don't you? <laughs> Not bitter at all, of course. <laughs> So he's got. He's only got one turn left, I guess. Him, but not if he gets pushed. Zara could punch him. Oh, he's in range though, as well. So he's got a lot in range, actually.
Hmm. Sure enough, it's going to be either a, a Dio win or a win, isn't it? Yeah. I was right. Yeah, not a loss. Not a loss. I could push him out of scoring range. Which I guess is the sensible thing to do. Instant bloody one in nine. Yuck. Not many people have seen me play flings before, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> to be fair. The uh Allez, les gars. Tous ensemble. We're on. Eight games played in CCO. Right, seeing this PC's back. We'll get rid of the uh I'll get rid of the real me and put on... No, 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 let's keep the gym cam. <laughs> yeah? Everybody loves to see that smiling face. <laughs> if it's smiling. All right, get, P get PC in the background, though, doing some acting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chance would be a fine thing. Yeah, it's pretty easy for him, even if I had pushed him back. It was... It was pretty easy, wasn't it, to just do this and get the hand up. It's not a done deal, but yeah, it's not that tricky. So I think I should have gone for that five to pick up. I guess I should have. Maybe I shouldn't play like I would. <laughs> Maybe I should play like Jimmy. Because he's played like Elliot all his life, hasn't he? <laughs> and yes. Play, and I've played like well, it's a, it's a lovely Oscar Wilde quote. Always be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. Mm. Yeah, there could be, there could be a one time. There's an upcoming Bloodborne movie. Really? God, that would be, that would be genuinely amazing, wouldn't it? I said... Long delayed sequel to uh, Salute of the Jugger. I forget what it was called in America, something different. Got Blood of Champions or something. Mm -hmm. The Rutger Hauer Near Blood Bowl film. Really? I've never heard of it. Oh, it's fantastic. Mm. I've seen, uh, I've seen Rollerball was pretty good, wasn't it? Rollerball is excellent. The, um, the original one. Yeah. The remake oh, yeah. was sort of not as good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the remake was the worst thing, the worst movie made in probably the last thirty years. <laughs> well, there's been some very weird. I mean, the remake of Total Recall. What the hell was that all about? Yeah, that was really weird, wasn't it? That's a couple of hours of my life I want back. <laughs> it's weird. not like. I mean, it turns out the original was quite old, but I didn't realise it. My son refuses to watch any film made before about 2010. I.e. made before him. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Right, do I... Uh... Is this what I do? Maybe. Oh, you can go forward one as well, can't you? I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah, just the minimum on the line of scrimmage, one to be thrown. And then fetches, obviously. Hmm. I think the one to the right of the tree can be a fetcher too, can't it? Yeah, that's the idea. Well, the idea was if I get to move forward one. Yeah, yeah, you can use him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's nice. Um, and he could he could fetch and come back, couldn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. But the one to the left, couldn't that? At the left of the tree, couldn't it move one left, and then the other one on the line of scrimmage could be elsewhere? You've still got them all. Ah, but then you've got no blocking off of the one on the tree. I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you're you're right. Your way makes more sense. I mean, it doesn't matter which square he's in, does it? Oh, no. 
Let's see if this works. I think there's only about five good movies made after 2010. Yeah, I'm not right. Oh, get out of town. <laughs> well, that makes it basically impossible, doesn't it? It depends how he deals with it. If he completely cocks it up, no, it makes it very possible. But if he bases the tree too much, then yeah. <laughs> He's got to really work to mess this up. <laughs> Okay. Yet. He has. <laughs> yeah, he has, yeah. Im amazing. <laughs> amazing. Maybe I shouldn't have put it so far away because it is the double GFI is required, but never mind. It is a TTM and they are unlikely, but certainly more likely than if you don't try it. Yeah, that's that's a shame, the one in Melbourne costing him. Oh well. Still, I always think when I'm coaching goblins, not losing is a win. Yeah. Yeah, I maybe I should have gone for the record with stunties. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have gone for the five plus pickup. Um, so I guess he was always going to recover, and like that's the way I look at it. I watch Elliot playing, and I think, but he's you know you've got to go over it because he's just going to recover and like make it all right. And he's not going to horribly misplay, and then. He doesn't, you know, he leaves it, and then his opponent inevitably <laughs> horrendously misplays, and he and he gets the uh, gets a better chance. But um, are you a tennis fan, Jim? Uh, yeah, ish. Yeah, I see. I see. Eliot is more of an Andre Agassi. Yeah. You know, he's got he's got the good solids. He waits for the opponents to make the mistake. You know, the unforced errors. I see. You as more of a Pete Sampras. Yeah. Up there, banging it in, going for it, making the big plays. Banging it in. And I, I'm not sure you can change your style that entirely, even if the race is different. I mean, we all coach different ways with different races, but there's still an inherent usness in how we do things. Yeah. And Elliot is a very, very solid, very safe guy. And you're much more rowdy. You're much. I mean, I know he says rowdy, but he just isn't, is he? Um, no, it's not. <laughs> whereas you are. Yeah. And I think you should you know, try and do what you do best rather than try and be someone else. Yeah. Well, there you go. Words of wisdom from PC. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.